Well, now, dear viewers, we have too many segments and too many reports for you, dear viewers, in this episode. And uh, as you do you know about uh, dyslexia, which is uh, the hardness of reading and learning, actually? The hardness of learning and also for even teaching. It's one of the disorders. Yes. But the thing is, uh, the good thing is that they have their own anniversary and there's too many conferences was holding mm -hmm. during uh, every year annual uh, conferences happening in the state of Kuwait talk more about uh, how to, to treat it, to diagnose more about this one of the symptoms. It's a disorder. Yes. But the good thing that we are very proud about the Ministry of Health, about the White Army, how they are doing, uh, doing an, a huge effort for doing uh, holding these conferences to aware about the new technology uh, and aware the community about the importance to, to, to diagnose this kind of disorder. Exactly, Aziz, and our guest by through phone call later on, Huda Shaban. She is, will talk about dyslexia, the definition of dyslexia, much more about uh, dyslexia uh, disease. So, uh, Aziz, uh, let's talk, uh, let's get back to our actually topic, which is the social media. I've been talking about how it's really important in our life. It became like an essential part of our uh, daily life. Some people, they use it neg negatively and positively. Some people, they use it in their to promote their business, actually. That's why it's one of the positive way to, uh, you know, using uh, social media. For me, I, I love to see some other contents to learn about, let's say, language, let's say other language. Some people, they teach how to do, let's say, voiceover, which is a part of our job, which is the media, which is really important. So I think now the, the phone is ready with our actually dear guest. So Aziz? So well, before we start our interview segment and phone call with our guest, let's talk more about the main topic. Dyslexia specialist accredited by the British Dyslexia Association and the Kuwait Association with, with Learning Differences, CALD, and the Brit British Dyslexia Association with organized the CALD 8th International Conference for educators and specialists. This year, CAL, the conference will provide all the attendees and the opportunity of completing level two BDA accredited uh, program, which already compresses uh, three days training. It's important to have three days talk more about the new things, what's happening for dyslexia. Indeed, Aziz, our dear guest on the phone, is a highly trained learning disabilities expert with more than 25 years of a professional experience in the field of educational psychology. She has been working in the educational field in Kuwait since 1996. So how about to say good morning, Dr. Huda Shaban. Good morning. Hello, good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? You're most welcome and thank you so much for joining us today on our show. Good morning, Kuwait. Thank you. And we are very proud about the Ministry of Health, about CALD, about the conference itself. But before we elaborate more about our topic, let's share to the viewers about the knowledge about what is dyslexia, doctor? It's a pleasure to be with you and talk about dyslexia. Yes, dyslexia is a learning difficulty specific to reading, which means it primarily affects the skills involved in fluent uh, reading and spelling. Uh, saying that, you know, usually dyslexic students find it hard to spell correctly, they find it hard to scan through a text, they read and write slowly, it's difficult for them to read aloud, mispronounce words, Therefore, they need to reread paragraphs to understand them. It's hard for them to focus. So many symptoms we could see it. Uh, parents could see it uh, while they're teaching their kids at home. Teachers can see it in classrooms affecting students' ability to read and comprehend what's going on around them, comprehend text, comprehend verbal uh, instructions. Now, that's amazing. Thank you for your information about the dyslexia doctor. So let, let's talk now about the KL this conference this year. Why actually it is different than other conferences that have done before? So first of all, uh, called eight international conference for this year would allow, would provide educators, specialists, the ability to recognize uh, and know deeply about what is dyslexia. They would help all attendees to gain a better understanding of the problem of dyslexia that learners face. So 
they will be introduced to appropriate methods, resources that would support students in inclusive classrooms. However, what's special about uh, our conference this year is that it uh, would allow all participants to achieve and receive a qualification from the Bridge Dyslexia Association if they would like to complete the second level of the accredited, the BDA accredited uh, program. We were able to do that through uh, distributing uh, three models, uh, three requested models by the uh, BDA among our three uh, conference days. So the first day on Friday, the 10th of February, uh, specialists will be talking about practical solutions for dyslexia. The second day, uh, Saturday 11th, they, uh, our specialist will be talking about practical solutions uh, reading. And then the third day, it will cover the third model, which is uh, screening for dyslexia. So uh, by attending these three models and uh, completing a workbook, they will be able to apply to get a, an accredited uh, qualification from the OCM London uh, and the British Dyslexia Association. Mm -hmm. Nice. Uh, Dr. Dr. Huda, we'll talk more about uh, now. We, we do these conferences to share the knowledge, to share the awareness. We see also the working crew uh, preparing some shots about the group picture, about the attendance, about the people who's working during this conference, the previous and the new one. But uh, this year, who is the target audience in your point of view, Dr. Hode? Yes. So uh, the conference this year is suitable for educators, specialists, and parents, and anyone who is interested in knowing more about dyslexia. You do know that dyslexia is one of the most common learning difficulties that affect children. And if I would like to put it in uh, numbers, one in every five people, as per the National Institutes of Health, affects is affected by uh, by this reading uh, problem. So this is why it's very important for CAL, the Kuwait Association for Learning Differences, to shed light on the on what is dyslexia, how to deal with it, how to deal with it at home, how to deal with it in classroom, in inclusive classroom, and how specialists can screen it and diagnose it. So this is why the conference this uh, year uh, is suitable for all, for educators, for specialists, for parents, for educators, participants are eligible to finish the three models and uh, uh, apply for the level five uh, BDA accredited program and become uh, approved BDA practitioner. Mm, that's really interesting, uh, Dr. Huda. Thank you so much for being a part of our episode for today and all the appreciation of how you are shedding the light of one of the most common uh, uh, learning difficulties, which is uh, dyslexia. Best of luck in your conference uh, as well. Thank you. Thank you. Can I just uh, extend our appreciation to, uh, to the American University of Kuwait for hosting the conference and our sponsor, Mashari Al Khair Organization and Kuwait uh, Airways. And just to mention uh, last that the conference will be delivered online and in person. That's interesting, Aziz. Thank you so much for being with us during this, uh, this morning, uh, Dr. Huda Shaban. And good luck for the CALT conference, the eighth one in the state of Kuwait. Now, dear viewers, let's go to this tiny break. Then we'll continue. <laughs>